I'm a UFC MMA. I love MMA, bare knuckle, bare knuckle fighting. And this past weekend, we had UFC 298 um, in California. I think it was Anaheim. And uh, we had Alexander Volkanovsky defending his belt against Ilya Tuporia. Ilya Tuporia knocked out Volk cold in the second round. Put him to sleep. And I got to tell you, you can see early on in that first round that Volk did not look right. He wasn't moving well. And he was moving back a whole lot. Tuporia was setting, resetting, fainting. I mean, he miss, uh, there was some breakdowns of, of, of the fight where you could see, like, he was just missing, just missing, just missing, landing, but then just missing. He was real close. And eventually, with his quickness and his speed and his footwork, you know, he comes in, bop, bop, makes him up, overhand, good night. And he put him out. This is the second time now that Alexander Volkanovsky has been knocked out. Uh, he got knocked out last fight versus Islam Makachev about three months ago. So now there's questions right now, you know, what does the Volkanovski do next? I mean, he wants a rematch, but do you really want to have a rematch immediately when you've just been knocked out cold twice in the last three months? That doesn't make for a good idea. I think he should probably take a break for about six months, let Tutorial fight somebody else, and, and then maybe try to come back and get a rematch. I don't think the result will be any different. I think sometimes it all it come what it comes down to is it comes to an end. And with MMA and bare knuckle and that type of fighting, you don't know it's the end until it's the end. And you see it happen over and over. You know, we had Kamar Usman recently. He gets beat by Leon Edwards. Um, a fight he's winning for, you know, pretty much clearly winning three rounds to one. And he's winning round five, and then all of a sudden, Leon Edwards lands a he you know, head kick dead. And then he comes back and has an immediate rematch, which probably was a mistake for him because he was knocked out cold. When you get knocked out cold, man, it is a hard thing to recover from. And, it, and you know, as a person who was fighting, I know Donald's a big fight fan as well. For him. He boxed himself for a, lot, a long time in his youth. Getting knocked out. Man, once that chin gets rattled, it 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 it, it goes, <laughs> you know. And so to to you know, then Kamal comes back and he gets beaten again by Leon, and then he's he's lost three straight fights, you know. So I, I, Volk now has lost three out of four. Guy that was unbeatable literally a year ago, you know. It, it, it's 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 wild to see how quickly an MMA fighter's career can move from here to here. I mean, we just saw it with Israel Adesanya in the last year year or two. Um, with him losing to Sean Strickland. So, yeah, we're going to have our MMA corner, our bare knuckle corner. We're going to call it the combat corner um, because I love MMA. I love fighting. We'll be doing a lot of bare knuckle stuff and uh, checking out these fights. I've been to some bare knuckle things recently and some crazy shit going on there. And, um, yeah, uh, that, that card overall was real strong. I enjoyed the Paula Costa fight versus Robert Whitaker. It was a fairly close fight. I thought Costa won, actually. Um, but you know, it was very close. And another fight on that card that was really of note was Jeff Neal versus uh, Ian Gary Machado. And I thought Jeff Neal won that fight. I thought he won the first two rounds. And uh, round three, you know, I thought Machado, you know, Machado Gary won that um, that round. But he got the decision because sometimes, you know, these judges are swayed by. Uh, well, I think they're being taken care of. But sometimes you see guys that get winning fights that. Don't look like they won that fight, and you listen to the cheerleading commentating going on by the UFC, and it, it's pretty clear where they're where they're leaning. So that's what I got for UFC 298. We got UFC 299 in Miami on March 9th. If you haven't gotten tickets, I'm promoting the UFC. You should get some tickets. I mean, they're expensive as hell, but um, big time card: Sean O'Malley versus Chico Vera. You got Dustin Poirier versus Benil. It does what the hell is this freaking? He's a French dude. <laughs> His name. Um, Saint Benoit Saint Denis. Um, you got Gilbert Burns on that card, big time card. I, I can't wait for it. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking about a lot of no fighting. Next time, start watching some fights, man.